to join our event poetry rectify. Welcome. I, RBT, the Secretary of Business Administration Department, feel honored to be the part of poetry rectify. I'd like to welcome our Honorable Secretary Sir Gautam Jeevet and our beloved Principal Ma'am Dr. M.K. Malji. It's my pleasure to invite our judge Kavita Ma'am. Welcome Ma'am. We are grateful for your valuable time that we get to share with you. I would like to quote T.S. Eliot here. It is a test that genuine poetry can be communicated before it's understood. It is a test that genuine poetry can be communicated before it's understood. Now, let me give you a brief description about our event poetry record. First, it is an individual event. The time limit for this event is three minutes. Participants are requested to recite the poem with the poem point of view of any mythological or historical character. Participants are requested not to hurt any mythology or belief system. So, let's get started. I would call upon our first participant, that is S. Ketana from Sri Shashan Jain College. one and all present over here. Today, Michael Shalini, I'm going to recite a poem on the topic, it is claimable, that is the title of my poem, and it depicts the life of Draupadi, one character from Mahabharata. And through my poem, I am going to express the point of view of Draupadi as a woman, what all pain and wailings and suffering she has undergone and what she wants to portray as a woman what she, what she wants to convey. I want to convey it through my poetry. So it goes like this. Inflammable. Blessed and cursed by life's a struggle. Unhinged and untamed. I have no master. You call me weak. You call me a witch. I am all of those and so much more. You burn me, you rape me, you kill me, all just for being me. I rise from the dead every single time. With a new face, a new scent, I fight. I love and I live to be free so much. I am freedom's face. Heartache, parcel is my inner weak. Combustible fluid to waste. Ignited my evil wildfire. Soul incarnating like hot angers. Black and suit, targeting her eyes like mascara. Hot molten magma of emotion. Erupting from exploding volcanoes. Salivary fluid like a gasoline spewing ravenous flame. Don't disrupt my inner being. To test my patience and tolerance. My flares would consume you and burn you into ashes. Standing at the inferno, I burned all my wailing beasts and agony. I evolved into eternal flame, blazing in fortitude, wisdom, and pride. You fear my voice, you fear my fire. I am strong, but unlike you, kind. I show you what beauty truly is. Oh, you people. Oh, you people. I am your shield. I am your daughter. I am your wife. I am your mother. I am the goddess. I am a woman. 
the society doesn't get to give me a script to play. I decide my own destiny. I write my own script. I will play by my own rules because I am much more than a gender description. I will not fit into your box of stereotypes. I am breaking barriers and slaying dragons. I am strong. I am victorious. I am a woman achieving greatness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shanti. I would request Priyanka Gangaria from Gurushti Shanti Vidya Jain College. My name is Priya Kankaria and my topic is about uh, Lord Hanuman. Lord Hanuman, the glorious and immortal, and the, and the son of Vayu and the god of the wind. He is the incarnation of Lord Shiva like it went. No. He is devotee of Lord Rama and aided him to win. In spite of having roller coaster ride to Lanka, though Lord Shita denied him and aided to denied him to rescue her. All, all along with the flow of electrifying to pursue. So through fire by tracking his tail. He shapeshifted and lifted mountains, open our blurry eyes. Mind like a metal and his body like a rock. A being giant monkey paused the sun rising, using those wounds of Rama's brother Lakshman, his vigorous sense of humor in Western heart. His authentic is being modest, always been set in stone towards Lord Rama and Sita, all the time wondering for selflessness. Thank you, thank you, Priyanka. Thank you, Priya. I would call Shivani Shreya from Shashin Jain College. Hi, am I audible? I'm doing it from my college. Yeah, you're audible, Shivani. You can start. Okay. Okay, my uh, poem is basically based on Greek mythology. I'm not sure a lot of you are familiar with Greek mythology, so I'm going to give you a small introduction on it. I'm sure my poem will explain the rest. It is stated that Hades is the devil in the Greek mythology, and it is stated that he also like kidnapped the goddess of spring, the daughter of uh, the goddess of harvest, and she was very angry that the precious little daughter to pay for her grass. But if and I agree with the subject. When I read this poem, if you exactly know why, Persephone would be more than willing to let go uh, into hate heart. I'll start my poem with a small promises and promo grounds. I never know. Shivani? Yes. Uh, what is the name of the character? Hate. Huh? Hates. Yes. Hates and her name is Persephone. They are depicted as the god of god and goddess of underworld in Greek mythology. Yeah, I know mythology. That is why I'm asking. Kate, uh, yeah. uh, so your voice thought they're actually just break. Okay, am I audible now? Yeah, you're yeah, audible, but sometimes it breaks. Okay. So my poem is, I never wanted to be less. I was the daughter of the king of the gods, the goddess in my own right. Yet you look at me and see a little girl begging for rescue, begging to be out of a mother's grasp. Give me when I shall save her call, and it's still not seal me away. This duality not passing at you, because I'm both the goddess of life and queen of all that's dead. Mother, you don't understand. I made heads run to me. He saw me soul under, and he offered me half his kingdom. Do you really think I ate the fruit unwillingly? I bring you springtime, bursting with light and bright, but also winter, cold, dark and dreamy. I am merciful, and when you're dead, I'll be your queen. He was the kindest thing that ever happened to me, even though that is not how our tale is told. When my mother told I was destined to be the forgotten maiden, that mother flowers and gave life to everything, and never the goddess I was destined for. He saw the acre that resides in me, demanded its own throne. He showed me that a lover's love as ours even can turn the darkest and coldest well into the happiest of homes. I asked him for the dead, for the blood, for the rust, for the sin. I didn't want to the other world the girls talked about, or the fine marble of 
palace, or even the roses that lovers share. I don't want delicate or fragile. I wanted dark. I wanted depth and real. I wanted ambition. I wanted kingdom and my king. I wanted him. So I grabbed my king and ran away to the land of death, where I reigned and people whispered that I'd been dragged. I'll tell you I've changed. I'll tell you. The red on my lips isn't wine. I hope you heard of horns, but that isn't half of it. Out of the entire kingdom, he only kneels to me, calls me queen, calls me his heart. Mother, I hope you get this. No, the bed is warm and a heart's cold. No, I never know better than why I am here. And with him, I taste freedom. That I'm no damsel in distress that needs rescue. Don't send me flowers. We'll throw them in the river. Flowers are for the dead. At least that is what the mortals say. I'll never come back, mother, because I am his queen as he is my king. And he calls me Moirena, my queen. And I reign over the flowers and light, praise kindness and deeds, but I reign over death and demise alike. And before my fury, the king of queen watches his, the king of death watches his. I always wondered why I like the devil more, and I think it's because when he gets on the floor, down on his knees, for me and only me, something in me turns. A god who sacrificed me to save the world. To show he was indeed pure-hearted and a divine god, but the devil, he would tear the world apart if I was hurt, and that is a promise. But he treats me like a queen sitting on his throne in his sight. I think all the villains in the world are misjudged. That they never get to tell their story. That the lions know how to write. Every story will glorify the hunter. I ask him during the ride, are you saying you wouldn't fight for me? And the devil looks in my eyes. Darling, I would burn this earth for you. Thank you. Thank you, Shivani. I'd like to call upon now Rika Morbat from Jesus Drink Corner. Rika, please. Good morning, everyone. I am Rekha Kumawat from second year BCom General. I would like to recite my poem with a point of view of our beloved Radha Krishna. I have been, sorry, our beloved Sri Krishna. I have been arriving and I will arrive at every time. The evil gets ruined at his target time. I shall come back at every age of youth to re-establish the rule of truth. I am the coward guy who used to play with the milkmaids in the Vrajdham is now going to establish dharma and peace and defeat all the enemies with ease. And the naughty Gopal who used to steal butter is now going to lead people towards dharma with every word I utter. The only way you can conquer me is through love. Regarding as great even the smallest gift offered by my devotee in pure love. I would set examples each and every day. I would show the power of love in each and every way. I, the Atman, dear to the devotees, am attainable by love and devotion. I am the beginning, mid and production. Thank you. Thank you, Rekha. Call upon Roshini from Sri Shankarlan Sundar by Shashu Jinko. Roshini? Yeah. Please start. Moon and star came together, a girl born with the fire. Having a face of five husbands, not born yet, but got cursed by her father. Living a life full of pain, God grace, dragged by her own brother. Took a stand for self-respect and fought for all the women. The greatness of our women are named after her father's name. The name was with the fires added. It was called Thropin. Is it 
it over. Yeah, it was 12 line which I told. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, Prerna, you can uh, start now. Which college? GS is Jain College. Okay, thank fine. you, ma'am. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Okay. So, good morning, everybody. My name is Prerna, and I'm from Second Bcom General. So, my topic is about Sita. I'm I'm going to say about Sita. So, I'm going to start now. Thank you. Uh, the princess who chose to live in exile, holding the hand of her husband with a beautiful smile, framed in a guile by Ravan, but she didn't fall in his wicked ways. Despite being held captive and tortured for nights and days, she refused to go with Hanuman when he came to rescue her, insisted that Rama come openly to defeat her captor. In Rama's honor, exile did she prefer. On the Ravan's defeat, to prove her purity, she had to walk through fire. But the flames neither touched her body and nor her attire. The fire bowed in her honor, but, the, but that wasn't enough, for the clouds of gloom were towering above. The world has never been fair to women. Despite of proving her purity, Sita had to leave. It was the height of cruelty. Because Rama was as weak in the face of his men, as strong he was in front of Ravan. Rama, the man Sita loved enough to die for, asked her to leave to the path that led aboard. Just imagine the way Sita would be looking at Rama, with whom she had to part, for he was standing like a statue when her world was falling apart. Would she leave? Would she have accused or looked down at him as she asked Mother Earth to follow her? She was going back to where she came from in order to save the last shred of her honor. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prerna. Uh, thank you, Prerna. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, uh, we are in the end of the event. So, can you uh, tell the results now or? Uh... No, I'll tell it now, actually. So that, I think my Oh, I'm okay. Uh, Department of English, Head of Department of English. And here I'm very happy that uh, so many participants come for poetry recitation because poetry recitation is a beautiful, uh, according to me, it is a beautiful competition because uh, uh, poetry as such, it is uh, expression of our ideas, Okay, expression of our thoughts, expression of our ideas. It is actually an outlet. An outlet for our imagination, outlet for our emotion. So it is life, poetry is life, it should come spontaneously. Uh, even one of the poet words were told, poetry is the powerful overflow of feelings. Yeah, when you are very much you know, filled with your emotions, you come out with a beautiful poem. So that is what the meaning of uh, poetry, it's a beautiful art. And uh, usually in poetry recitation, you are not only reading the poem, you should give life to those words present in the poem. Okay, the poet would have written in uh, many tones and moods. Okay, the participant, as, as a participant, we have not only as a participant, if we are reciting the poetry, then we have to induce, okay, infuse, you can say, infuse the life in those words. So, in that way, uh, when I have observed, uh, most of the participants you have read out well, but here, what I have seen, perceived, perceived, I thought uh, two participants, I think only two prizes are allowed, right? Two or three? Two, ma. Two, ma. Winner and runner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So, uh, actually, uh, so when you go to the competition, the same kind of competition to other colleges. Keep it in mind that you have to give life in your voice, in your expression, and in your delivery. Okay, you have to deliver it in a very. Uh, you, know, you have to make the poem alive. So that is what poetry recitation. So according to that, um, the second prize that is the runner-up goes to S. Keetana of Triple S. Jain College. Uh, 
she has done well but uh, one suggestion for kirtana is kirtana should you should deliver without seeing the poem it will be nice but your delivery and your expression are good as kirtana scores runner up and uh, sharani das of justice bashi ahmad uh, college okay she read about draupadi she scores the winner winner uh, grade because uh, she delivered in a very you know, she didn't i think she didn't see the poem and read no she delivered on her own auto uh, individually and uh, automatically in a very uh, spontaneous way she has delivered and also her as a expression was good congratulations congratulations shalini das and uh, thank you thank you for the student council thank you for the student council for giving me an opportunity to uh, no observe the poetry recitation thank you so much we are grateful to have you here ma'am thank you so much congratulations winners winner and runner i would call upon sheetra from bism to give the vote of thanks welcome all it's my privilege to have this akrit purpose a vote of thanks on the occasion of this event I on behalf of Jesus Jain College and the entire faculty of the management here, I first of all extend my sincere thanks to Almighty God and my behalf I extend my very heartly gratitude to Judge who spent his time on the business schedule. I thus pay our pleasure to host all the participants of the event. The participants were very appreciative, and I am thankful for them 